Scanning for audio. Welcome to a Tin Dog Podcast, this time talking about Torchwood Main Range release number 61, The Dead Plates. It's a Billis Manger story, and you know what? I didn't even realise Billis Manger was the same actor who was in Taste of Honey, which was one of the family's favourite films when I was growing up, because I'm what's known in this trade as an idiot. So, we've basically got, well, even the trailer says, um, a locked room mystery but he is playing fast and loose with the rules. Now, when I was listening to this, I did think of one of those old Amicus movies where everyone's on a train and they all tell their story. But the pitch originally, according to the extras, was more along the lines of Abigail's party meets something else a bit more scary. And that makes sense, it really does, because basically what you've got is four characters, Yep, small room, four characters and Billis trapped in a pub, nice, and they are having a chat about their sins and what's brought them to this point. Billis also has an extra plan at hand. And you know what? Something that you think, oh, that's good, the whole story's going to build to this, it's actually the narrative structure deals with that very quickly because it's the other stories that are more important beautifully structured, beautifully well written, and of course, exquisitely well performed. Now, the landlady in the pub, I was convinced, was the nice grandma of um, Friday Night Dinner, but it wasn't. It was Chloe Sylvester, which, which is great. I mean, fantastic bit of casting. To be honest, the whole thing set in 1976, just before the rise of Thatcher, when Soho was at its height of seediness and rather nastiness. When Soho was the Soho you think of, rather than the Soho of just a bunch of coffee chains and that kind of thing. Not that I've been to Soho too many times, but you know what I mean. It has a certain reputation that just isn't real anymore. So, you've got a great pub, you've got a locked-in situation with the characters all trying to sort out themselves and tell their own stories, and that's kind of where we're at. This doesn't fit into any greater Torchwood narrative. This is just one of those excellent, like Deadbeat Escape, when Billis is in a small place dealing with small characters and you know he's more powerful than anybody else in the room, he's cleverer than anyone else in the room, and he's just so great. When Billis was on TV, I didn't really have much time for him. I thought, what a waste of time, not a great character, and I was just wrong. Clearly I missed a lot out, because here... He's been developed, he's been thought out, and it just plain works. So, is this a great story? Undoubtedly. Is it needed for the greater Torchwood narratives? Probably not, but you know what? It doesn't make it any less. To be honest, it makes it a little bit more impressive. I would normally play you the, read you the synopsis at this point, but my Wi-Fi seems to be down. So, let's just take it as read. Hello, this is me from a different time. I thought I would actually do the synopsis, so here we go. Billis Manger has been murdered, and he is determined to find out who did it. Four people at dinner are the suspects, and they've each got murky secrets, at least one skeleton in the closet. What is really on the menu at Soho's finest restaurant, and will any of the suspects make it out alive? Written by David Llewellyn, and starring Murray Melvin. I now return you to me in the past. Billis turns up at a restaurant. There's two Billises on the cover of the box, so you kind of get an idea what it's going to be like. And you get to find out a little bit more, and a little bit less, about Billis himself. He just is scary. So, is this a great episode? Undoubtedly. Tell you what, here's the trailer, and decide for yourself as always. 
But until next time, be seeing you. From Big Finish Productions. Torchwood. Dead plates. There you go, Gerald. Thank you, Beryl. A, a toast. Mind if I join in? Uh, not at all. Take a seat. Do I know you? Uh, perhaps. Billis Manger. Are we ready? We're ready. To our good friend, Miss Felicity Templeton, who is surely destined for a dazzling career on stage and screen. To flick. To flick. To flick. To flick. I wish you every success. <laughs> oh, oh, yes. Is it all right, old chap? Would you like some water? Well, one moment. I, 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 ah! Mr. Manger? He's dead. What are we going to do? Hello, me again. Oh, ah! oh Grace. But you're over there. And you're dead. Yes. It would seem that someone poisoned my champagne. And it's not the first time I've been murdered this week. Big finish. For the love of stories. That was the Tin Dog Podcast. Available on Spotify, iTunes, Acast, Stitcher and wherever good podcasts are found. Get early access to content by subscribing to the Tin Dog Podcast YouTube channel. You can support the show at patreon.com slash tin dog. Contact the show on Twitter at Tin Dog Podcast or email tin hyphen dog at hotmail.co.uk. All of the things discussed are the intellectual property of others. No infringement is intended. The Tin Dog Podcast is a founder member of the Doctor Who Podcast Alliance.